Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my October bullet journal setup. And this month is going to be a little different compared to what I normally do. Um, because I'm running out of space in my bullet journal. So I decided, um, you know, last year I did a lot of spreads on black paper for October. And I just glued them into my book. And this month I decided to make, it's not quite a book signature, but it's uh, kind of the same concept, I guess. I basically folded some black paper in half and I did trim the edges with a corner rounder and I kind of sewed them together in the middle using some just normal black thread to kind of try to blend in. So I'm not sure if I'm going to attach this into my bullet journal or if I'm just gonna kind of use this throughout October as is, but I did decorate the front page with my little cat in a bat costume sticker. And I am now working on the calendar. These pages are going to be my monthly overview. So I decided to go for a mini calendar this month. And I didn't really have a plan for what I was doing with this. I kind of knew I wanted the mini calendar and underneath it space for notes and events and things like that. However, I did not really have a plan for the entire spread here. So I am kind of winging it. I wish I had done things differently now that I know how the rest of the spreads kind of turn out but it's fine. I have been very, very busy, so I didn't have a lot of time to put this month's spreads together. I would have loved to do something more artistic, maybe something involving crystals and more witchy kind of things this month. However, I kind of opted for a more classic kind of Halloween theme, similar to what I did last year. Um, a little tip for making the calendar using gel pens is I did all the lines in one direction first and then I waited for that to dry so that my ruler wouldn't smudge my lines when I went to do the rest of the lines going in the opposite direction to finish up the boxes. So that's a nice little tip for you. I am using the Sakura Jelly Roll in the, I think it's 08 size. This is my favorite white gel pen to use. Um, I do have some King Art ones along the side here and honestly they don't work all that well on the black paper. I did a bunch of tests of them with a bunch of different colors before um, I set up this spread knowing that I would use the black paper and the silver one shows up really well. Everything else not so great. Um, the neons do seem to do better on it, which I guess isn't all that surprising. Um, obviously darker colors don't work out as well, so be aware of that. Um, maybe get a different type of gel pen rather than the King Art ones if you're planning on doing something similar because as you'll see in a minute, I went to write in the numbers on the calendar and the, um, what's it called? The days of the week and it did not show up very vibrantly. Perhaps it would look better on a lighter color. I think these do look really great on the normal, um, just white plain paper, but I was expecting them to do better on the black. So I'm a little disappointed in that. And I did make a circular habit tracker. Um, last year I traced one in my journal and that took way, way too long. So I made this one on Procreate and I actually have this um, exact one as well as a 30 day one available for you to download on my website, r100red.com. It is in one of the blog posts and um, it comes in a zip file. Um, that's the only way Wix lets me upload them. So 
you can go ahead and download that. I decided to cut the numbers off so that I could write around it using the white gel pen. And I'm also using some stickers from my shop. I know in the last video of bullet journaling, I used pretty much exclusively stickers and washi tape from my shop and I wasn't planning to do that again this month, but that is kind of how things worked out. So I'm sorry if you're looking for something a little more artsy, I'm really hoping that November I can be more creative again and have the time to really set up some nice spreads instead of feeling like I only have the time to chuck together something that way I have the space to write things down. I do have these little pumpkins that are numbered 1 through 31 that I could have used in the little calendar, but I thought they would be too big for the size of the calendar I ended up going with, and I wanted to save them for the weekdays or the weekly spreads instead of using them in this calendar, although they would work really well, I think, for a larger calendar that perhaps takes up both pages rather than trying to squeeze it onto this one page. But I did use some of the other stickers. As you saw, I put the one, the pumpkin that says habits in the center of the wheel. And I'm using this one that says notes because I wasn't sure if I was going to write events like in order or how I was going to do things. So I knew I didn't want the to-do list to be on that side, so we just went with notes. That way it can be kind of whatever I want it to be over there. I am going to be participating in some type of version of Inktober. I am not going to follow the official Inktober prompts. I'm not sure if I want to use the official Inktober hashtag even but I do plan on doing an ink drawing or a drawing every day in October. So look forward to videos about that. I don't think I will be able to do a video every day, but I do plan to post maybe on TikTok, definitely on Instagram. I will um, definitely make a few videos. I might try to do like a weekly update type thing um basically flipping through the different things and maybe a speed drawing of an ink drawing i really really want to complete inktober despite the fact that i will be busy and stressed and i'm adding the goals underneath the habit tracker and i am going to write tracking here and add in another little sticker. Um, the little ghost here will be from my Spooky Sweets sticker sheet that is available on my Etsy shop. Um, a little note about the Etsy shop. Please um, be aware that the holidays are coming up very, very soon. I know it still seems far away. I feel like it's very far away, but the post office is already preparing. So be aware that shipping might be more expensive. Shipping might take longer um, to get products to you. And please be aware that just delays might happen and that is completely out of my hands. I ship everything via USPS and I provide tracking for my customers in hopes that that will provide them with as much information throughout the process as possible. Um, however, I have no control over the post office once things are out of my hands. So if there is a problem, feel free to contact me. But to be aware that the holiday season is approaching and delays might happen. For this weekly spread, I am using a lot of my items from the Save the Boobies collection that I have on Etsy. All of these products are part of a charity collection, so I will be donating some of the profits to Stand Up to Cancer. 
I know that that does not exclusively deal with breast cancer. However, I think it is a really good place to go with for this donation. And I have had many different types of cancers affect my family and I'm sure other people have as well. So knowing that um, a large focus for them is breast cancer um, made me make this decision. If you didn't know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So that's kind of why I went for the sort of silly ghosts <laughs> save the boobies. I also have these weekday washi tapes from Michael's. Um, the save the booby washi tape is available on my Etsy shop. I don't have too, too many available so if you do want it make sure to snag that i think it came out really really cute and i also have the vinyl sticker in that corner there available as well and that is pretty much all i have really done for this spread i added in a few other stickers from my sticker sheet um, ones that say boo, some of the smaller versions of my little ghost friends, this bra, and I think it ended up being quite cute. I wish I had gone all in with this like pink save the boobies style theme for this month. Um, I considered redoing my monthly spread to be this theme, but that's all right. I kind of like how mix matched it all is. I'm okay with that. Like I said, I kind of just threw these spreads together without much thought. And I really hope that November can be more detailed and have a little bit more um, artsy stuff. I really want to get out my watercolors. Here I am using the pumpkins that I was talking about earlier with the numbers to do this weekly spread with some of my other kind of fall themed stickers. I didn't want to leave too too much space during this week because I don't expect to have all that much to be writing down and keeping track of. However, I might regret that later on because I have in the past. But regardless, this is how I decided to set up these weeks. I opted to use some more of those spooky sweets stickers and I just think these are so cute. I really want to do more things like this for different holidays. I did like a patriotic red, white, and blue one, and now I've done the Halloween, so I definitely plan on doing some holiday themed ones for this winter, or even just like generic winter ones. I don't know that I really want to do specific holidays. I kind of want to go for more of a wintry vibe. So maybe some little snowflake type things. Maybe I'm thinking penguins and moose and like buffalo check patterns. So expect those types of things for the holiday season. Really didn't do too much for these spreads, keeping it simple with some stickers. And here is a little flip through quickly of all the pages. Um, very, very random, but I think they will still be functional. And that is the main thing, isn't it? So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.